Ahoy, and welcome aboard the sea, monkey. A crab ate my sticker. What's up, everybody? Thanks for stopping by. This is week eight of the $15 a week challenge. And I was just messing around. I'm actually missing a sticker. Heads or tails living? I need a sticker for that spot for these videos. So, yeah. And uh, Cheshire Keith, I had to pull you down off the wall. I could use a magnet. Just saying. <laughs> so, all right, let's see what we got going on here. Week eight of the $15 a week challenge. I'm coming in with an extra $3.44. Got something slightly different for you this week. It's not dimes, and it is Canadian, but it's not a dollar. I had a funny story on this. I actually way overpaid for this particular piece. I woke up, I had it on my eBay watch list, and I woke up and it was just about ready to end. And it wasn't the item I thought it was when I bid on it. And so I did end up overpaying for it. I thought it was a dollar, but it was just a half dollar. And it was a highly toned. 1961 Canadian half dollar and so I was coming into this week with 1844 and I spent 1325 which is heh, more than I'd been spending on some of those Canadian dollars so you know I guess it all works out in the end cost average it in there whatever but as you can see it's highly highly toned it's in decent shape it's got a few nicks and dings in it 1961 Canadian half dollar 80% silver and let me jump over here to the informational page and it looks like these had uh, mintage, dang it. The mintage on these was 3,584,417. And we've got on the reverse the crown dividing the date above the Royal Arms of Canada, which was proclaimed by George V on uh, November 21st, 1921. And it was updated in 1957. And all of that is surrounded by the inscription, Canada, and the face value of the coin, which is 50 cents. see the crown dividing the date there and then you can see the Canadian Royal coat of arms surrounded by the inscription Canada and 50 cents and on the obverse we've got uh, the young Liz when she was 27 surrounded by the inscription Elizabeth II de gratia Regina or Regina whichever way you want to pronounce that which translates to Elizabeth II, Queen by the Grace of God. And so this is my week eight, $15 a week challenge pickup. And like I said, I overpaid for it. Had it on my watch list. It was 99 cents when I found it. And uh, still had like four days left. And I just watched it, and watched it, and watched it. And then I woke up, and it was about ready to end, and I thought it was a dollar. And I was like, oh sweet, I can get a Canadian dollar for 13 bucks. 
So I bid on it, and I won it, and then I realized it was only a half dollar. Huh. But, whatever. It's more Canadian silver. Something I didn't have. I have one now of the Canadian half dollars. And that's that. My pickup for the week. And we will drop that into the chest with everything else. Between the dollars and the half dollar. Close that down, and that's another week down. Alright, uh, I think that's pretty much it. It's got a reeded edge, it's 80% silver, it weighs 11.66 grams, whoops, and has an actual silver weight of 0.3 grams. So, like I said, for 13 bucks, I overpaid for it because it's only worth about eight melt value. But with the price I got on some of those dollars, I'm probably still ahead in that aspect. But live and learn. It's not the first time I've done it. it probably won't be the last. But I'd like to thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you like what you see in here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Alright, this is another Sea Monkey $15 a week challenge in the chest. Thank you all. Have a good night. And God bless.